I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole is going to help us find Rachel. Or what? You'll actually shoot him? Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. Obviously, I'm not counting on you. That's why I have a gun. And I might even save you someday. About time. I am so going to hit you. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just talk to Frank so we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. Frank doesn't need tinted windows when they're this dirty. Can't see inside with this shit blocking the view. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, or bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. No. Jesus, okay. Okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No. You don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? Listen, Frank. I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. What, you, you come in peace? After you aimed a fucking gun at me and then pulled the trigger. To be honest, Frank, you scared me. You held a knife on my friend. I didn't want to pull the trigger. I could tell by the way you held that pop gun, with both hands, like it was a magnum. But maybe I shouldn't have brought that knife to a gunfight. I only want to shoot with my camera. I swear. Ask Chloe. Look, Frank, Max doesn't need a gun anyway. So are we cool? Please? Okay. We're cool for now. But my dog is... And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? Oh, Pompadour is so cute. The only way you know my dog's name is if you broke into my RV. That's how we got out. You did it, are you crazy? That's my dog! Wait, that's not what- Seriously, Frank, don't get all spun out. 
We're only here to find Rachel. Rachel isn't in here! And I'll spin you on your ass! What the fuck are you dorks up to, huh? Trying to break into my business? This time, the price is wrong, skank! Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch! Get it! Step the fuck back now! Pompadou! You fucking killed my dog! Oh my god! No! Chloe... I just shot a man... and his dog. I killed Frank Bowers. You saved my life, Chloe. It, it was self-defense for both of us. Max? Frank is really dead. I know. But we can't stop now. We have to find that code. Fast. Before the co cops come. That's it. Let's get out of here. Sorry, Frank. I'm sorry. Listen, Chloe. I can tell you for a fact that this will not go well. Max, I should have known you'd be kind and rewind. So tell me exactly what I need to do here. Please watch your mouth. You have no social skills here, and you will piss off Frank immediately. You kind of love this, don't you? Fine, I'll try being like you for a change. Or how you used to be. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? I... I don't know. Frank, uh, your dog is kind of scary. Could you please close the RV door? You aim your gun at me, but you're scared of my dog? That figures. Okay, there, you're safe. Now what do you want? Just the names of some- Oh, is that all? Listen, Frank. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bull- There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of in- Yeah, yeah, well it all- Come on, Frank, this isn't a- Yeah, right, okay. Frank, we- What, you- you come in peace? To be honest, Frank- <laughs> I could tell- I, I only want- Look, Frank, Max doesn't need a gun- we're cool for- We're only here to talk. Shit, you wouldn't have time. Of course I do. I heard you even rescued a bunch of fight dogs. That's amazing. No, alright, it was just the right thing to do. I couldn't stand to see those poor animals treated like- like slaves. That's how I came to own Pompadou. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. 
Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Yes, we're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now. Especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? Frank, you knew Rachel almost better than anybody. And you know more than us. Together, we could find her. Do you have anything to lose? When Rachel vanished, I pretty much lost everything. I can't stand not knowing where she is. Not hearing her voice or her laugh anymore. We can change all that. It's up to you. Help us find her, Frank. Please. We really need your client list. Well, if there's a chance in hell you two dorks can find Rachel, yeah, I'll take it. My dog isn't barking at you, so I guess that's a good sign. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Frank. Seriously. It's hard to take you characters seriously, but I want to. Good luck. That was cool Frank gave up the code to help us. Rachel must have seen something good in him. Chloe, are you okay? I'm glad things worked out okay with Frank. It's nice to have one less enemy in Arcadia Bay. Amen to that. I better focus on this board and start tying these clues together. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Those clues are not related. Yes, the game is on. Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. Does David know what's going on with Rachel, or is he just paranoid about everybody? Max, there's no logical link between those clues. Looks like David was tracking somebody's car. Maybe even Nathan's. Good clue. Damn. I, I must have missed something. Oh, no. This is not working. I'll have to analyze these plates and coordinates to see if Nathan was under David's surveillance. Spies are us. Nope. Maybe I should try to link other clues together. David really has been on Rachel's ass for a while. She should have been upset. Those clues are not related. I'll have to analyze these plates and coordinates to see if Nathan would- This is like goddamn math. I suck. Oh, you're treading water, Otter. Try again.
And that's all she wrote. <sighs> Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. I have to analyze Nathan's messages. What could help me unlock this phone? Okay, Max, let's blow this code up and go home. Max, I know we can snap all these pieces together. Roger that. I'm gonna study the board. Let's start hacking. Let's check out all the messages from the week Kate was drugged. Yes. Uh, this is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. Drug dealer drama. God, Nathan. You're out of control. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. No, Nathan, it's time for you to watch out. Asshole. Is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal. Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? You're treading water, Otter. Try again. Oh yes, now we're finally getting somewhere. Chloe, let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. See if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex Club. Oh, yes! 
These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. Take a breath, Max. Go through all this data and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. Those clues are not related. Chloe, this is Definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clothes here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. Just a shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody, except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> 